What's up YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana D, your techno dad here, and in today's video we're going to be checking out the Onkyo TX-NR676, and we're going to get into it right after the jump. <music> And I'm back. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to learn about 4K, home theater, and audio products, and how to set them up properly, you should consider subscribing because I'm here to help. Now that that housekeeping is out of the way, let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are again with another AV receiver and a Dolby Atmos setup. So basically, you guys know the drill. If you're new to the channel and you don't know the drill, I needed to help out some more people because they've been asking me of how to set up Atmos with all these different manufacturers of AV receivers. And since I'm only on the Denon, which is the Odyssey system, I know that very well, but I don't know anything else. Well, I, I mean, well, I know other stuff. I just don't know how to set up Atmos on the other manufacturers AV receivers. So I'm not sure if you guys caught the Yamaha, but uh, I had the Yamaha V583. And I'll put a link down to that video in the description or a card up here so you guys can check out how to set up Atmos properly on that. But today we're talking about the Onkyo. I kind of stuck to the same price range, 500 to 600 price range. Uh, this retails for 549 and I actually got it for 349 so I saved a little bit of cash and that was from Crutchfield. Now Amazon at the time had a little bit higher of a price but now Crutchfield's gone to $399 and it's actually $339 on Amazon. Links are going to be down in the description for sure. And I kind of wanted to get this on sale because, well, it's easier for me to do that, to buy it on sale. But in the last video, the Yamaha video, someone was asking me if we could do this for under $1,000. And if you remember in the Yamaha video, I paired up the Yamaha with the uh, SVS Prime Satellite 5.1 speaker system. Now, that speaker system retails for $999, and the Yamaha was $499, so we're in at about $1,500. So, someone asked me, hey, you know, can we get this for under $1,000? And if you look around, you know, for sales like I did on this one, you definitely can. So this AV receiver costs $349, and I know there's a 5.1 speaker system by Focal that's on the Crutchfield site, and that's at 50% off. So normally it's $799, and it's on sale for $399. I'm trying to pick it up, but uh, money's a little tight. Wifey's birthday was like a few days ago, and you know, she wants this whole like week-long party thing, so... That's been going on. That's also why I haven't had too many videos up because we were just snowboarding all week long for her birthday. All right, enough of this talking. Let's go upstairs, unbox it, and set it up. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the unboxing. So I got this from Crutchfield, and they give you all these little stickers for your cables, which is really cool. So we got antennas, AM and FM, setup microphone, batteries, remote control, a brochure and some instructions. All right, so on the left side of the Onkyo, we have the on and standby button. And just below that, we have the music optimizer button. Now this is what you're going to want to press if you play a lot of compressed audio and mp3s and all that kind of stuff. You're going to want to press this to get the best sound possible. And below that we have the listening mode button. And that's going to cycle through like movie, TV, music and games. And then you turn the dial, the listening mode dial below that and that will give you Dolby Digital, DTS and Direct. To the right of those, we have the tone button where you can select treble and bass, and below that, the tone dial, you'll actually be able to adjust those values for the treble and bass. Moving on, um, we have a quarter inch headphone jack. We also have a zone two button, a zone two off button, and a dimmer from the front display. Now along the like middle area of the AVR, from left to right, we have the input selector. There are 12 inputs 
for you to use or choose from. And then to the right of the screen, we have a setup, enter, and return button, along with navigation controls. And you can go up, down, left, right with this. And if we're in the radio mode, this is how you uh, adjust the tuning and presets. To the right of that, we got the big volume knob, and below that, we've got inputs for the setup mic and the auxiliary HDMI and audio input. All right, let's flip it around the back. From left to right, we've got the digital audio inputs, one coaxial and two optical. Next to that, we've got our tuner antenna connections. And on the bottom, we have analog inputs. And along with all the analog audio in, we do have a ground screw, which means this AV receiver does have a phono stage, if that's important for you guys. Just above that section, we've got composite video in and component video in. And above those sections, we have a USB port and an Ethernet port. And along the top in the middle here, we've got all our HDMI ins and outs. Six in, two out. They all support HDCP 2.2, HDR10, and Dolby Vision. And in this section here, this is where you connect your five main speakers, the left, right, center, surround left, and surround right speaker channels. To the right of that, that's where we plug in our Atmos speakers. And to the right of that, you can have two extra speakers set up for zone two. Now on the back of this Onkyo, it looks like you can plug in nine speakers at one time. However, the AV receiver will only power a maximum of seven channels. So keep that in mind. And just below the speaker terminals are the preamp outputs. You get two subwoofer outputs and a left and right pair for zone two. All right, everybody, here we are in the setup menu of the Onkyo. We need to go to speaker and then configuration. As you can see, it says speaker channels 7.1. Now we've got 2.1.2. And if you just keep pressing right, it starts adding speakers and you check out the diagram. 5.1.2 is what we need, but let's keep going and check this out because this kind of looks cool. I like this. This is nice. This looks really nice. All right, so let's get back to 5.1.2, which is what I have. Subwoofer, yes. Height, top, middle. What else we have? Top, rear. Rear height. Dolby speaker front. Dolby speaker surround. That's the Atmos enabled. We got front height again. Top front. And top middle is where I like to keep it because my Klipsch RP140SA are aiming down to like the top of the MLP. That's the main listening position. Speaker impedance, I gotta keep on six ohms because, uh, well, all my speakers are eight ohms, so that makes more sense. All right, that's all we need to do here. Now let's uh, toss in a movie and see what we get. I still had John Wick in the Alpo. Let's hit info. And there we go, input Dolby Atmos True HD, output Dolby Atmos 5.1.2 channel. Perfect. Well, that's it, let's go back downstairs. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you set up Dolby Atmos on an Onkyo. I've never done it before, and I was pleasantly surprised at how nice the menus look. I, I don't know, maybe I'm just kind of a, a snob. I don't know, maybe I want the menus to look like we're in, you know, the year 2018 instead of, you know, the mid-90s or something like that. Anyway, I like the way the menus looked. I like the little diagrams, definitely helps you out when you're setting up your Atmos system. Now I'm still looking at other manufacturers like Pioneer and Sony and getting ready to pick up those AV receivers to help you guys out a little bit more. Uh, if you have any model numbers in mind that you want me to look at or consider to purchase, just leave them down in the comments below. And if you're still looking for some awesome content to demo your Dolby Atmos system, shoot me an email and maybe I can help you get yourself a Dolby Atmos demo disc. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel using that button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad. I'll see you next time.